It is August 16th, 2018. Time for the grand opening of Aventura. As we walk in, you can see there's like a sort of a Zen garden over here. That's kind of interesting. Very minimalistic. And over there is where the bus picks up people for City Walk and I think maybe Volcano Bay, but maybe not. My lens is not wide enough for this shot. I said the grand opening, but the grand opening was kind of at the media event on Tuesday. And fortunately, I'm not on the media list, so I couldn't go. Look, everyone, fidget spinners. Uh, now I regret throwing away the one I bought for Halloween Horn Nights because I figured, when am I going to use a fidget spinner again? Well, same reason I used it last time for a prop. Here we go. Ooh, so exciting. First clearance. First security clearance. Second security clearance. And oh my gosh, there's a lot of people here already. To show you this later, but this is Bar Venture. If you saw this and I thought, and you thought this was a bunch of acrylic pieces with light coming through, like fiber optics, like I did, it is not. It sure looked like it on other people's videos. These lamps are pretty cool. It's like a desk lamp, but larger. Over here is the Urban Pantry, which contains several different places to eat and a full Starbucks, which means we have seven Starbucks, full service Starbucks in this, about 400 acres. Here's a Starbucks. It's not a we, ser we proudly serve Starbucks, like a Starbucks knockoff kind of cafe you see sometimes. It's a third party, but it's a, it's a full service Starbucks. You can get anything here you can get in any other Starbucks, including high prices. Over here we have sushi. And sushi noodle. Sushi to go. There are some beverage choices. Some beer and I believe some wine as well. There are some beverage choices here at the sushi place, including Japanese soda. So that's pretty cool. There's some prices. Over here is simply called Burger. Here you can get um, um, food. This is interesting. It's a jar of cake instead of a cup. Some eggs, some, uh, some alcohol, pale ale, some chocolate covered bacon if you're looking for health food. Ooh, this is really good soda. Blue Sky Soda, organic root beer. This stuff is good. I haven't had this in a while. Some Uncle Matt's organic orange juice. More Booza Hall and some Parfait. Here are the burgers here at uh, Burger. And the flatware. Here's a grab and go area for chips. Oh, this place, has, this one has Jones. It's a soda that's kind of hard to find. But a lot of the other stuff is the same. Well, no, dog, that's not true. Dogfish head. Season sea quench uh, ale. So this does have other stuff over here. The same soda, but some um, coconut water, honest tea, just water. And if you don't want to go healthy, 
uh, like the co chocolate covered bacon, there's always fruit and pita chips. The free refrigerator case is the Honest Kids. Some beer. This is interesting. Uh, wine, I guess. Seagram's. Seagram's. Now, the interesting thing is this was the parent company of Universal when the Islands of Adventure opened. And here it is for sale at Aventura. Some wine. Yeah, some just, yeah, this is just water. Shrimp cocktail to go. Caesar. Caesar California, uh, Chicken California, Cobb Salad. Tomato Sal, I guess it's, it's a, apparently it's a, ta it's a tomato named Sal. <laughs> Capri Sa, I guess those are really short salads. Like regular salads, they're just shorter. The Caprice, chicken sea, chicken sa, turkey sand, and of course Coca-Cola. This place, this place is called currently not open. Of course, freestyle machines. All of your uh, other options: a sink, some hot chocolate, and coffee. But the cool thing is, when you sit here, you can look over the Volcano Bay entrance. That's how close you are. There's a bus going by. Here's Italian ice and gelato. Cookies and stuff. This time it's uh, pasta salad. Here's another option. Um, peach sparkling water, wild berry, lemon lime. Grapefruit, uh, whatever that is. Each of these areas have a little bit different. Here's a different type of soda. This is called pizza, where they serve um, food of some sort. <laughs> this is probably for when I have enough in, in, available. There's a menu. Oh, this area is actually different because you got some Pocky, some Haichu, some Gimme Organic, Smash. There's a lot of options in a small area. Some blueberries, some kale. Pretty cool. Oh, check out this cup. That's for the freestyle. Unlike places like Cabana Bay where you pick your food and then from different areas and then pay all at the same time, each individual food area has you pay for it. You pay for your food there. When you order, you get one of these and you place it here. This is outside by the pool. Because I like sitting outside. So I got just a basic plain cheese pizza and his awesome cane cola. And Brian had the burger, which will be coming. Brian is back late, unfortunately. So, how's the pizza? This is delicious. Um, it's just like um, when you order from like your little local pizzeria places. Um, it, I think it's delicious. So I really like it. It's a um, brick oven pizza. And here is the Impossible Burger. It looks like they did the impossible without the avocado because they didn't have any today. Yeah. Also, fries are really good. So it's um, a veggie burger with uh, frizzle onions and uh, you can choose the sauce. I chose the chipotle sauce. And he also got the orange soda. I can back here at night, I can show you the roast kitchen. It was not available earlier. It was being set up. I will show you this at breakfast time tomorrow that might be a separate video I'm not sure what uh, it's salmon never had salmon before cool some mac and cheese little potatoes 
Out here is the Bar Sol, which is kind of interesting because that means sun, and obviously the sun has set for the day. This one is the Buell, the middle one is the Zachary, and the far one is the Margarita. Oh, all right. Cool, oh, thank you. So, I don't like beer, but I like the logo on this one. Next to the gift shop, next to Mr. Avis here, you have a touch screen for if you want to print your boarding passes before you go back to the airport. And a printer. Pretty cool. And here, of course, is the Universal Studios store. Why is it called the Universal Studios store? I don't know. It should be called the Universal Orlando store, but that's, you know, that's what they called it. Quick walk through. Can't decide what house you're in? Let's get a cup for all four of them. <laughs> this is a nice mug here. It's $15. Pretty nice. I like these shirts because it it's more like the actual globe outside of the the Universal Studios. Never get fully away from Christmas around here. Pfft, record first. 1895 for this mug. It's um looks like it's plastic, but it's actually ceramic. This is a nice hat. Oh, it's nice and soft too. Twenty-four dollars. It better be nice. Well, it's a it's a nice hat. Here's an area where they're going to have a DJ. I believe it's once a week. These ceiling fans are interesting. I thought for a moment there was a small fan on the inside, but no. That's really nice. Oh, look at the uh, chopsticks. Cool. It's a pretty good roof here, but you can definitely feel the wind. So during a thunderstorm or when it's raining and windy, I'm not sure how dry you're going to be up here. No, it's not. It's not really uh, windy here, but this is what Bar 17 Bistro looks like during a good size thunderstorm. I wouldn't call it strong or severe, but it's a it's a pretty good pretty good uh, strength thunderstorm. You can see uh, the rain, and it sounds like. You got a blown out speaker. I mean, I'm walking around everywhere. Right about here, I'm, I'm getting wet. So I'm moving away. Now, I wasn't sure when I was watching this being constructed which portion of the fitted spinner the bar was going to be on. It was kind of hard to tell from the ground, and I'll tell you why. Because there's a whole section over there that's also part of it. If you go this way, there's a little area over here, which takes you back towards the elevators and the other seating area. The back side here are the restrooms. And then this whole area, open area here, which is a whole, whole section of the fidget spinner. This looks like an event area, which would be cool. And if you don't want to wait for the elevator, you can just rappel down the side of the building. Here's a reversal. I'm standing on Aventura looking at Cabana Bay instead of standing in Cabana Bay looking at Aventura. And what a great view of Volcano Bay. Over here is something you guys should be familiar with. This is the Sapphire Falls parking garage. And that is the Aventura parking garage. Why they didn't make one parking garage, who knows. From up here, you can see the in construction hotel. That'll be next year's new hotel. And that is Endless Summer. And that empty space over here is going to be where they're building the other one. So you can see it's not connected, the properties aren't connected, but it's, it's close. I don't think 
So here in the elevator, there is a touch screen for the buttons. There are buttons down here for ADA compliance, but you have to put your card here before you can select anything. And yes, this video gets annoying very fast. When you get off the elevator, there are all these little fidget spinners that change color. And these colors correspond with the hallways. One thing that is a little confusing is there are three sets of elevators that cor correspond to these hallways. If you got used to walking one way from the elevator when you get off, you might end up walking from that elevator going to the wrong hallway because they all look the same. So make sure you check the numbers before you get on the hallway. I think living in Broward so many years, they'd put us in 954. <laughs> but to be honest, we wouldn't have as good of a view, so. 404, room not found. <laughs> Over here in the bathroom, you have a toilet that has a two-phase flush. The light flush and the heavy flush. I think that's more common in Europe. The interesting thing about these showers is here are the controls for the on-off and hot-cold, but that's a shower head. Usually the controls are directly under the shower head. Just interesting. This is the brand that they have for soap and shampoo, zero percent. This is what it means by that. Fresh by Aventura. It claims no animal testing, but it also says made in China. So, hmm, I don't know. It's kind of a neat shower door. has a bit of a flaw though because water can go straight through here and when I turned on the shower the first time it was aimed toward this way and water started leaking directly out of the shower so maybe they should have put the, the glass this one this piece out and this piece in Another nice feature of this shower is this little bar here, so if you want to put your foot up there, if you're shaving, um, but honestly when I was using the shower just to wash my legs, I used it, so it's, it's useful for everyone, if you shave your legs or not, it's a nice little feature. And over here you kind of have a little a neat little hook to put things on, because of space constraints, it's a pocket door. for the bathroom and this glass partition it looks like it's a whole bunch of little straws that they cut up and put between two pieces of glass that separates the the bathroom from the rest of the room but just really the powder room usually when I stay in a hotel their their hair dryer is awful and it's just underpowered, but this this is better than what I have at home. Makes me think I should upgrade. And over here when you walk in 
This is actually the closet. Over here is actually additional space, including a safe, of course, a coffee maker, and a mini fridge. It doesn't have anything in it, so don't worry about having to pay excessive amounts of money. No, oh, it's also not running. That's not good. Another interesting thing is the garbage can, the main garbage can in the room has a separate section for recycling. Haven't seen that before in a hotel room. Pretty cool. One of the big selling points of this hotel and what I was interested in is this tablet, but it's actually an iPad. It's not like some Android, which is pretty impressive. You can change the lighting. You can also browse the television channels that are available to you. And as you can see here, instead of uh, just a list on the television, you can scroll through and by icon and tap on it. I accidentally tapped on the TV and turned it on, so I, I just muted it there. You can set an alarm, check, get your car rental, and also change the temperature. It's a little bit chilly in there for me. 69 is a little bit low, so I raised it up. You can also control the fan speed, turn it off completely for some reason. So, pretty cool. And a landline, which I'm pretty sure is voice over IP. Um, unlike other on-site hotels, there is not a traditional arcade. There's a VR game room. This is a virtual reality. Uh, we have six games to choose from. Um, you get five minutes, of course, for $10. And uh, this game uses the HTC Vive. So this headset is basically acts like everywhere you look, it's 360. So you can look behind you anywhere. You can move forward. You can move backwards. Um, and then, of course, your controllers are going to be what you actually control the game with while you're looking. So if I have this, say I have this one right here, and then I'm not, you know, just for the sake of like demonstration. So I have two shields, right? And I can change it to a sword, whatever. But I prefer having a gun. So I have a gun in this hand. And then look, it shows like the, the high scores over here and stuff like that. So if you get past the high score on the top 10 leaderboard, you can actually like, you know, put your name on there. So, so it's like an arcade, but you know, just more advanced technology wise. Um, so yeah, like I said, I can turn around and I can look up, look down. Right here, we're supposed to be standing according to the game. And you just play. It's very easy. The trigger on the actual controller acts like your gun. Um, wow. And then you can make it. Best treadmill ever. <laughs> It switches it up. Here are the sanitizing wipes. Missed them. <laughs> they were right when you walk in too. There is a place where you can fill up a water bottle, which is pretty neat. 85 bottle reused 85 bottles were used already. That's an interesting uh, type of treadmill. Hey Brian, yeah. how's that working out for you? Because <laughs> it's working out and you know. It's a nice little resistance for your legs. All right, well this is $4. That's a four dollar 12 ounce soda, so it better be damn good. It does have uh, texturized print on it, which is kind of interesting, but four dollars, wow. It's uh, it's not bad, it's just very, very strange. 
Main route is the best root beer I've ever had, but I can't find it anymore. This is the grouper sandwich and the fries we saw earlier. Also, there's a pretty good sized thunderstorm going on outside. Maybe we'll take a look at that when we get back up to the room. I like watching thunderstorms. I really like grouper and this sandwich is really, really good. I do like my fries with barbecue sauce. I asked and they, uh, they found some barbecue sauce, so cool. Well, back at night because by the time the thunderstorms finally ended, it was nighttime. They have a rear projection screen that drops down and they're right now they're showing the original Despicable Me. Cool thing is, when you go in the restroom, you can still hear the audio from the movie. Now, let's go in the pool, finally. Right up there is a projector. Obviously it doesn't have the throw it needs for to fill that screen, but it's pretty cool that they have the speakers around here playing audio from the movie instead of just um, some DJ speakers that set up in some of the other hotels because uh, the movies were an afterthought. Uh, the temperature is not that warm in here but because this first is just opened it's the least amount of urine in this pool they'll probably ever have. But oh, it's a little tired to get in. Oh my gosh. But the pool does bend all of the way around. Surprised they didn't, but well, they probably what could, probably couldn't. But it'd be cool if it if the pool was the uh, fidget spinner shape, but probably not enough space. Uh, okay, I'm a little adjusted to the water, and just like I was told, there are underwater speakers. Just like the Hard Rock, this is the only other on-site hotel that has underwater speakers. Now tomorrow, Brian and I are going to have a sequel video of the water log, where we're going to go to every single one of these hotel pools in, in one day. This time we're going to try not to miss any, because I missed some last time. So let's go underwater and hear it. I think that's the movie, but I don't hear any dialogue. So. And here's what roast breakfast looks like. Kind of standard breakfast buffet. Except it's not really a buffet, I don't believe. Ooh, those Belgian waffles look good. Pancakes, all right. French toast looks decent. And then uh, some fruit here. And here is the roast breakfast. Of course, you don't actually get anything roasted because, you know, it's breakfast. All right, so it's more of a cafeteria style, not buffet in the sense that you can't just keep coming up again more. I didn't spend buffet in the sense that here's a selection, you walk by and pick up what you want. But you pay for the stuff. Um, I guess not individually, but I'm going to have to try that Belgian waffle. The beverage choices here don't change for breakfast. Hi, and burger does change its menu for breakfast, so it's not just, you know, burgers. It's uh, what they have. Still have fries, but these are home fries. Yeah. The sushi place is not open in the morning. And the pizza place does have a breakfast menu as well. Calzones, flatbreads, and lots and lots of glare. The dessert area over here doesn't seem to be open in the mornings, which is understandable. And if you're having breakfast, right over from the roast is where they have the butter and cream cheese and all this other stuff, including 
syrup, which is probably corn syrup and not actual maple syrup, but yeah. So, I have the waffle, the orange juice, and a nice view. So if you have not yet, please check out my Patreon page, my Amazon link, you can buy stuff from Amazon, I get a little bit of money, you don't pay anything extra, please click on an ad because this trip ended up being expensive. Pretty good, I'm very picky with Belgian waffles so I'm kind of hard to please. It's a little too um, soft I guess, but... I, I like it to be more like a cake, I guess I'm saying, but it was very good though. And the orange juice is pretty good too. One last look from our hotel room before we head out. About time to check out. So, it's, it's a nice hotel. Um, I still think they could have made Sapphire Falls a little bit larger if you wanted the extra rooms, um, but it's nice. Um, it's a decent, that's a pretty good price too. You don't get water taxi service, but um, you can see the Sapphire Falls is right there. You can literally just walk over there and take the water taxi. There is a bus and there's that convenient walking path to Volcano Bay. So that's cool too. It takes you right to security. So I liked it. The room is nice. Sheets are a little rough. Um, but I liked that the, um, the food is good, the food is actually really good, and yeah, it's a great hotel. Now that it's nighttime, you can see the screens on the NBC Sports & Brew from here. Can't see it like extremely well, but it's still pretty cool that you can see it from here. Back in the room, watching what's left of the thunderstorm. I hope you like this look at Aventura. I um, hope so because I had to <laughs> pay for the room so it wasn't a comp. But I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching it all the way through and please exit through the gift shop.